For a function gt, it is given that integration from minus infinity to plus infinity gt e power minus j omega t dt is equal to omega e power minus 2 omega square for any real value omega. So here we are having the formula of Fourier transform and it is equal to omega multiplied to e power minus 2 omega square. So we can say that the time domain signal gt is having the Fourier transform equal to omega e power minus 2 omega square. And let's say gt is having the Fourier transform equal to g omega. So we are having g omega here. And if yt is equal to integration from minus infinity to t g tau d tau, then calculate the value of integral minus infinity to plus infinity yt dt. So this is our question. There are four options and the question is taken from gate 2014 paper. Let's move to the solution. We are having a time domain signal gt and gt is having the Fourier transform equal to g omega and it is given in the question that g omega is equal to omega multiplied to e power minus 2 omega square and it is also given that there is a signal yt which is equal to integration minus infinity to t signal g tau with respect to tau. So we are getting signal yt by integrating signal gt and we know from the integration in time property of Fourier transform when we integrate the signal, the resultant Fourier transform will be equal to the initial Fourier transform which is g omega divided by j omega plus pi multiplied to g0 which is the value of g omega when omega is equal to 0 multiplied to delta omega. We can easily calculate the value of g0 from here when omega is equal to 0 we will have g0 which is also equal to 0 so we can say g0 is equal to 0 so this whole term will become 0 and let's say the Fourier transform of yt is equal to y omega so we are having the value of y omega equal to g omega divided by j omega g omega is equal to this so y omega is equal to omega multiplied to e power minus 2 omega square divided by j omega omega and omega will cancel and i will multiply j in numerator and in denominator so this will give us y omega equal to minus j e power minus 2 omega square but in question, it is asking us to find the value of this integral. Let's say the integral is equal to y and it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity yt dt. So it is clear that it is asking about the area under the signal yt. From this, we will get the area under the signal yt. So the integral i will give us the total area under signal yt and we know from the property of Fourier transform the total area under the time domain signal is equal to its Fourier transform when omega is equal to 0. We are having y omega we will put omega equal to 0 so we will have minus j e power 0 e power 0 is equal to 1 so we will have minus j so the result of integration is equal to minus j and this is our answer. So option B is the correct option. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.